Hey guys, it's Sadie here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing these two LOL OMG dance dance dolls. So I really didn't think I was going to buy any of these dolls in this line because to be honest I don't really like a lot of the outfits in this line. I did want to get for a trial but I didn't think I was going to get any other ones because she was probably the only one that I liked but I also decided to get, what's her name? Miss Royale. I'm honestly surprised myself that I bought this one because I honestly did not like this one at all for a very long time which I still am on the fence about it but the reason why I still got her is because I've seen pictures of her with her hair down and it looks amazing and her hair is also a different kind of material I believe it's kind of it's a softer kind of like yarn material I don't think it is yarn but it kind of is like yarn I don't know what it is actually that made me want to get her I also kind of like b-girl Beagle's pretty cute too, but <laughs> for now I just got these two. Also these were like super expensive at most of the stores. These are $70 pretty much everywhere except Kmart has them for $50. Kmart is the cheapest place to get them from, so get them quick because they do tend to sell out pretty fast at Kmart. So yeah, I don't know why these cost so much more at like every other store, but I feel like $70 is kind of ridiculous for these. I think $50 New Zealand dollars makes sense when you convert how much this costs in US dollars to New Zealand dollars. $50 makes sense. 70 is ridiculous. But yeah, these are like the newest dolls we have at the moment with the LL Surprise. Although, there is the um, Spice and, uh, and what's the other one called? I don't know, those two are pretty cute though. Well, I really want to get the, uh, what's her name? I don't remember her name, but I really want to get this one. She's so pretty. I don't know if they're the company New Zealand though. Hopefully they do. I really like Virtual I think she looks really cool and I love the little um, virtual reality like visor thing she has. But yeah, I do think personally, that a lot of these dolls are a bit too much for me. I just think they're a bit over the top in like their clothes and stuff like that and I don't really like a lot of the outfits they come with but I still like the dolls. I still think they're really high quality, nice looking dolls a lot of the time. I just don't always like the outfits they come with. But yeah, so she's got this virtual reality kind of thing going on. She has this really awesome braided hair. She has like a whole pixel thing as well. She looks really cool. Um, and also I like the boxes for these. They're a lot smaller than the other boxes and I really like that because I find that these dolls do have a lot of packaging and I find that really annoying. I feel like now that I'm collecting more dolls I just have so much rubbish to get rid of because it's come up way too much packaging for me a lot of the time. Alright okay, so they have this whole TV theme going on on the back here it's supposed to look like channels and stuff it's quite interesting. I like, little TVs over here too. It's quite cool. Shall we slide it open? Are you ready? Are you ready? so pretty! She comes with a little dance dance guide and you can open it up and it has a bunch of dance moves on this side. So <laughs> that's pretty cute. Um, oh it's like the robot! Oh that's right she's supposed to be like robot dance thing going on. That's cool. I do appreciate how easy these dolls are to get out of the boxes compared to other dolls. They are a lot easier to unpack. Can we please get easier packaging on Rainbow High Dolls? Like, I swear to God. So here is Virtual. She's really, really pretty. I love her face. Her lips are gloss, and there's actually a bit of gloss is coming off of her lips. Can you see it? Yeah, it's a bit of gloss on her face. But, um, it's, that's okay. She has, like, a pixelated eye makeup thing going on, too, which is very cool. I love that. I love her hair. Um, the braids look really cool. It's got a mix of light braids in there with the pink. It looks really pretty. And like her outfit is still a bit like over the top. Like the pants thing, I don't really understand it. But it's not too bad. It does look pretty cool. And I do like the whole pixelated theme that she has going on. Her pants do look pretty cool though. She's got these really cool shoes as well. They look pretty awesome. I do love the colours. I still feel like we should be getting articulated knees in our OMG dolls considering that other dolls that cost the same or cost less have articulated knees. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I just really don't like click knees. I just find them a bit pointless. It's better than nothing, but still, it's just doesn't it's it's really not much of a difference. Like that's that's a knee clicked back. That's the knee clicked forward, like can you even tell the difference? Wait, she's got socks on too! Okay, that's cool. Can you see them? That's really cool. I did not know that. This is the jacket she comes with, which I also think is pretty cool. I do really like the green on it. it looks pretty epic. Okay, the jacket definitely does make everything look like even better. She looks very cool with that jacket. 
the colors are really like well done. Her stand is a really cool like black color. It's black but it kind of also looks a bit um, pearlescent. Looks really cool though. These dolls also come with two extra um, little stand clips. I think it's so like if your doll is wearing a thicker outfit, they can um, it can fit them better. Maybe. Also, can we talk about the background of this doll box? It looks awesome. This is definitely by far my favorite background of a doll box. It's like super vapor wavy. It looks so cool. I definitely want to keep this one because she looks awesome in this background. It is so cool. Oh, I forgot these dolls have a black light. I totally forgot that's a feature in these dolls. Oh, also, these dolls don't come with like a shoe box because they already have their shoes attached. And they only come with one little outfit, um, you know, bag thing because they only had her jacket on it and she was wearing all the other clothes. Which I really actually like. I mean, it kind of takes away some of the surprises, I guess. But for me, I find that actually really nice because I really hate unboxing everything. It can get kind of tiring um, and has a lot of waste. So I think it's just really cool that she comes with most of her clothes already on. So she just comes with one box which I believe has her visor in it and her black fly. Oh and it has earrings. I forgot about the earrings. They're very tiny. So we've got her little virtual reality visor which I think looks super cool. <laughs> also this is a big selling point for me. Like the virtual reality thing is very cool and I really want to get the little like I want to get the baby virtual reality one like a little sister she also looks very cool I don't know how you get those ones though I don't know if they're in New Zealand this is kind of the best I can get it on but I don't know it kind of looks a bit weird now that it's actually on her face it just kind of looks like she's got a big piece of plastic on her face it still looks pretty cool I still really like it but I'd probably sit it on her head more now it kind of looks like a hat though <laughs> but I do like to see her eyes and her makeup so I kind of would probably do that. She has these very cute pixelated heart earrings. Her earrings are really cool. I kind of want a pair of this. And then we have the black lights. So they all come with black lights because they have uh, different features on them that you can see better under a black light I guess. Um, I'll show that at the end with when I've got the other doll unboxed and we can look at them both under the black light. So yeah we have Miss Royale next um, which like I said I don't really like a lot of things about her but I still wanted to see what she looks like in real life because I probably will like her more when I see her and also I want to take her hair out of the weird plait things that she's got going on because I think it looks really cool without that style so yeah please forgive me I know a lot of people really like this doll but I don't really know why <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm trying to just convince myself that I like her hair, but I really hate it. I'm really trying, but I just, I just don't really get it. Maybe it's just because it's not my thing. It's very unique, you know, I can, I can give them props that they do make very unique dolls that you don't see. So, you know, it's even something that you wouldn't see in other dolls, so I do appreciate that. But I just don't really, it's not just my thing. And that's fine. Um, this is her little dance moves that she comes with very very cute all right so here she's out of the box oh my god her hair feels so cool oh my god it's so soft i love the feeling of her hair so much which is the main reason i wanted to get her i'm i'm trying not to complain too much but i just want to be honest you know i don't have to like everything i'm still glad i got her because i still wanted to get her despite not liking her very much i still wanted to, to get her her hair feels so cool. It's, I don't know what it is. Someone please let me know if you know like what kind of material her hair is. Um, but it's very soft. It's very kind of fluffy looking. Um, and I just feel like they should have done something kind of better with her hair since they're using a different material. You'd think they would have her hair out or something like that. I don't really understand these buns at the front. Like I don't know what that is. Um, the braids look really pretty. Like these are so pretty with like the pink and purple hair color. But I just don't understand the the buns. They just look really funny to me. They just look a bit silly. You know what I mean? Um, but her hair feels so amazing. The ends are they got some product in them. They feel a bit crusty. But I really want to wash her hair. 
because I feel like it's going to look so pretty once it's washed. Um, and I want to let her hair down. And you know, I don't hate the app. Well, hmm. I don't know how I feel about the outfit. I'm just, oh, I'm really trying to figure it out. Um, but she's got this kind of interesting yellow makeup going on. She has a heart on her cheek. That's pretty cute. You can see a bit of her mask, which you're supposed to see under the blue light, but you can kind of still see it on her face. But I think that's actually kind of cool. Some of like the eye makeup is actually a bit messed up on my doll. I kind of see it looks a bit smudgy on both of her eyes. The whole outfit, I just don't really understand. I'm just not really educated on like fashion is, is the truth. So please don't hate me too much. You can educate me if you want. I just don't really know a lot about what is going on here. I don't really understand it. I can appreciate that they're doing new unique fashions for dolls that a lot of people probably love. Um, and I like her socks. I don't really like the bows on the on the other side. I think it's kind of tacky, but I do like them on the front. Her shoes are really cute. I feel like they kind of don't go well with her outfit, like the, the color, but they're really adorable. Yeah, I just, the colors are kind of all over the place. There's bright pink, there's yellow, and then there's like purple, and there's a lot going on. All right, I've got to say, Virtual Real came with a yellow comb, which is a very cool looking yellow. And uh, Miss Royale came with a black comb. Her background is also pretty cool. It does also kind of give me a little bit of Vaporwave vibes, to be honest. Her stand is a bright pink. This is her little um, clothes thing. What have we got in here? She comes with a, like an underskirt, I guess, maybe? I don't really know what this is for. Yeah, I think it goes under a skirt, right? Where does this go? I'm so confused. Okay, I need to Google it. Okay, it's not a skirt. It goes over her shoulders? I am so confused. This doesn't look right. Okay, I don't know how to do this. What's happening? Is this how it's supposed to look? Is this right? I think this is right. I'm probably wrong. I don't really get it. It's kind of cute. No, it's not. It's kind of cute. You know, I could convince myself it was cute if I looked at her for a long time. Um, I don't understand the cage thing on her. The hoop. Hoop skirt? Cage skirt? I don't know. I don't really get it. I'm really sorry if you really like her outfit. That's totally fine. I think it's great if you like her outfit. Clearly, I just don't understand anything that's happening. <laughs> Anyways. She comes with a fan, which is very cool. I do love the fan. That's pretty cute with the fan. I don't know if it really goes with the style, but it is very cool. And yeah, we've got her little um, black light. She doesn't come with any earrings or like a necklace or anything like that, which is surprising. But I guess she's already got a lot going on, so she doesn't really need anything else. <laughs> I don't know what you think about her, if you like her or not. Because I, I think like a lot of people like her, so I feel a bit crazy that I don't like her that much. So. Let me know, am I crazy or do you also not like her? So next I'm going to have a look at them under a black light and we'll see what we can see. Okay, before we do that, I just took Miss Royale's hair out of the style it was in. Literally just then, I haven't washed it or anything like that. This is how it looks like without the style, the braids and whatever. It looks incredible! Like, look at this. It's a little bit like uneven. <laughs> I don't really know why this piece is so much longer. It is so pretty. Look how shiny it looks. And it feels, literally, feels like cotton candy. It's so, so soft. I feel like it does need to be washed a bit because the ends are a bit gross. But, um, it feels amazingly soft. I really hope they use this more because this feels amazing. And I'm definitely really happy I got the doll now just because of her hair. Just because I love how it looks when it's out like that. I don't really know why they didn't just leave her hair out because, like, this texture is amazing. Really, really pretty and I hope we do see this more in dolls because it's just amazing. Um, so I definitely like her a lot more with her hair like this and, uh, yeah, I think this makes her look so much nicer. Anyways, let's turn my lights off and have a look at these dolls under the black light, shall we? Okay, the only light I still have on is my computer light, but we should still be able to see it pretty well. Let's have a look. Whoa, okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually expect the light to work that well, but 
That is really cool. Look at her mask and her makeup. Okay, girl. Very cool. Let me see the bows in the back, too. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see it. Look at her nails, too. They're, like, so glowing now. Right, let's try it with Virtual. She definitely doesn't have as much, like, a fix. Okay, the clothes look really cool. shoes she doesn't have as much on her face though it does work on the mask a bit that's pretty cool oh it looks on her braids too <laughs> that's cool the green looks really cool too and like the green on her makeup too it's pretty cool in case you don't know you can use a black light on like anything like if I just go back here whoa my stickers look so cool it just works on anything like light colored, it makes it kind of glow. I'm probably gonna have fun using this in like everything now. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. For feel let me know what you guys think about these new LOL dance 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 dolls. If you like them or if you don't like them. Or which one do you do like out of the series. Is there any other LOL dolls that you would like to see me review one day? Feel free to let me know and maybe I will if I like them or not. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!